next game if we survive it. You and I get to that change room because it's got to be great food. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Speaking of Laura Sherian, she's amongst some of the changes that have been made in this attack line. So Steph Wood has moved to wing attack. Kara Conan goal attack and Poscovia has entered the game. Interesting to see Biddy and Hunt has been sent to the bench when she was by far and away the best for feeds for the lining. She was sitting on tw 20. The next best was Sherry with 13. So she did have some impact when she entered the game. She did, but Steph Wood is very much the general in this forward line for Lightning. She creates the moves, opens the space, and they were playing pretty much a positional switch at times, Wood dropping back and Conan out. So let's see how it pans out for the visitors. They're up by one. Great direct route to the giant skipper, and Joe Harton doesn't let him down. This game is starting at exactly the pace in the fourth quarter as it did in the first. How many words start? Frantic, frenetic, <laughs> all of the above. Well, Proscovia's first shot under the post where she likes it, and it's a good one. Just gives Sam Pullman yet again something else to think about. A bit more of a body up rather than a mover. Let's see how it pans. Cassidy tries, but never going to happen offside. Oh, Joe Harden, she just forced her way around there, didn't she? Desperate to get in front of Pretorius. Oh, good touch this time, though, from Cassidy. Lightning come up with the intercept quickly down court. Proscovia with the finish. Yes, Lightning out by two. And don't forget, get yourself to Team Girls Moment, supernetball.com.au. Vote. Three magical pieces from round six there for you to choose from. Plenty of Team Girls moments in this match, Kath. Plenty more to come as Sherian hits the deck with a little help from a friend. A little bit of a screen set up here, but it opens up Proscovia just on the hold. Oh, she's come on and had quick impact, hasn't she? Three from three. And she's a rock under the post. Expect more screens and body on body. Quick move it from Hart. Double play with Hay once more. Sweet comes from Dwyer over the top to Harton. Left arm is on song, fourth quarter. Oh, quick play again. Kara Conan taking to that roll. Oh, well, that was Parmenta, I think, that got the first tip, but it was Bramley and Pullman all over it after oh, that. Another two hit the deck. This time, Wood and Parmenta collide. Welcome to wing attack, says Amy Parmenta. Well, Amy Parmenta has been phenomenal, hasn't she, for the Giants? Probably one of the best on court, if not the best. Too much on it. Table tennis game at the moment. Still errors the law, and I'd say there have been flaws to the game, but there's been so much more. Your eyes drawn to the theatre, the pace, the passion. Top of the table clash. That's a sweet move from the Lightning. Not finished by Conan. Can Proscovia? Oh, back in Giants' hands. Promised so much. Didn't deliver. Oh, nothing coming for the Giants. It's a long way back to Sam Pullman. Almost over a third. Good patience from the Giants. Won't be drawn by this big crowd who are urging them on. They take their time. This possession to equalise for the home side. Hart straight to post as a good captain should. Well, there's a missing net points too, and it's the Lightning in front. Not a big difference when you think about the scheme of things, and no wonder the scores are deadlocked here at 44 apiece. Crowd starting to enter the game, came alive with that equaliser. Over to Proscovia. Flirting with three seconds. Carly Byrne, what's she thinking? Has she got the seven on the court to do the trick? Price, she's been steady. Support from the back comes through April Brandley. But again, it's a long way back, isn't it? Another pair hit the floor. This time, Price and Sherry, and it's willing out there. 
All locked up at 45. Just remind me, Kath, this is only round seven. This isn't five. <laughs> it feels a lot like it, doesn't it? It's going to be a big nine in a bit minutes. Well, that's how much keeping a place top of the table means to these two. And, of course, a bit of history between them. Lightning with bragging rights from season 2020. Giants would love to turn that around. Price to Hart. Drive comes from Dwyer. Opens at the back. Lovely space on the backdrop from Dwyer. Can't finish. Well, look who's there to pick up the crumbs. The best for the Lightning has definitely been Carla Pretorius, and she was all over it again. Sitting on 93 missing net points, Pretorius. I think best so far has been Courtney Bruce, 114 last week. Jamie Lee Price, 91, but we've still got nine minutes to go. Settler from Conan. Crowd doesn't like it. Starting to make their presence felt. Well, Sherian, urgency about the play. Again, Proscovia, she's been good since coming on at three-quarter time. She's been phenomenal. Seven from seven. And absolutely unfazed by the theatre of the game and the urgency. Business as usual for Peace Proscovia. Lightning by three. Sophie Dwyer. Oh, they're just... Short. Yeah, the last couple have been short, having that they can see them as soon as they come off the hand. Just not enough push on it. Mopped up by the skipper. The Giants hit 46. They'll trail by two. Let's get down to Kim Green. What have you noticed? Yeah, thanks, Annie. We might go to a timeout just here, and I'll get in there and I'll get back to you after. Yeah, we'll pick you up after the break. It's an HDF timeout. Call by Lightning. Back in just a moment. The beat that signifies more movement. We're going to create something. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Wonderful insights into the defensive structure demanded by Carly Byrne. Wants them to have another go at first ball, but wants them also to isolate Sophie Dreyer. Let's see what they can manage. They lead by two. Manage a big crowd here at Ken Rosewall Arena for the doubleheader here in Sydney around seven. And they're warming to the task. They want to push their Giants over the line in Julie Fitzgerald's 350th. It's all happening. Well, Tilly McDonald's into the game too. Loves the physicality, loves to get up in the air. She was guilty of trying to fly out it too much last week and let her opponent become free. So no doubt strict instructions from Julie Fitzgerald to focus on Poscovia. Don't be deceived by the fact that she's a little bit shorter than Sam Pullman. A great vertical jump, so she's strong in the air. She'll contest piece Poscovia as Harton brings the Giants a little closer. Don't forget, State of Origin coming up this week. Women's State of Origin. Queensland against New South Wales. Queensland looking for back-to-back -back wins. New South Wales, no doubt, want to take a leaf out of the book of the boys. So don't forget, get your tickets, nrl.com slash tickets. Home side in chase position. Let's see who listens to the coach, which of the Lightning defenders will come out flying first ball. Wants a bit more effort in that area. Well, they play it smart too, don't they? They are off the body, so there's very few penalties. They're only sitting on 36 penalties for the game, the Lightning. That is nice and low. Over the top of the mess go the Giants. The finish comes from their captain. Well, there it is, 39. Apologies to the Giants up at 47. Not bad either. Oh, taken, Conan. Just couldn't land it. Had a little help from Tilly McDonald. Well, what sort of setup are they going to do here? It's a screen coming from Proscovia. Long ball over the top to Conan. Smart play. Have a look at the work here. Up and up high. Tilly McDonald just taking a little bit of the body. Not too much in it. Just couldn't land it. Sophie Dwyer. Out on the edge, looking to set up. Harton finds some space. 
Jo Harden's come to life the last few minutes. Sense of urgency in her play, and she rouses the team. The arms pointing. The bench is in a half crouch. Two-point game. Moments away from the Power Five. Kira Austin recovering from knee surgery, also invested as you would be. Well, there we just saw the turnovers on screen, 22 apiece. But the goals from the turnover, that's the telling part. Eight for the Lightning and just three for the Giants. The trading blows goal for goal. But that won't be enough for the Giants, though. Beautiful ball from Hay finds Dwyer on the drive. And the Giants hit the half century as Biddy and Hunt warms up in the substitution box ready to exchange at wing attack. Well, that change will be coming because they'll want Steph Wood inside the circle for this super shot period. Would call you. You were good for one or two of those in your day. There she comes, Vinnie and Hunt. And as she comes on, let's get courtside to Kim Green. Thanks, Annie. I'm looking at the speed of the Lightning and they're getting down the court so quickly. Now, when you're playing against the Lightning, that is one thing as the other team. You have to be mindful not to get into a running race with them. At the moment, the Giants feel like they're in control. They're taking their time in attack. They're pushing it back to the line, resetting. And I think Maddie Hay is having a brilliant game in that space. A few different wing defences on her, but she's just taking her time to be able to place that ball. Thanks, Kim. Very composed, as is the skipper. And she's brought out the radar to... Well, interesting to see that Steph Wood actually hasn't come back onto the court in goal attack. Prostovia is still there in back of play. She is standing up with the goal attack bib on, but no instructions yet. Looks a little bit of confusion, actually. She looked along to the coaching staff as they appeal the penalty. Looked along the line to the coaches, wondering whether she would be. She's still on her feet. Everybody's on their feet. Oh, Joe Harden. Oh, she thought about it, didn't she? Wire. Back at her. Into the hands of Mawaini. What a timely rebound from the Lightning Keeper. Well, they just need something coming forward, though. And, oh, that's a great clearance ball. Beautiful vision from Cassidy. Amy Parmenta throwing everything into it. At the other end of the court, Joe Harton is down on the transverse line, barking out orders and encouragement. With a bit of breathing space, if you could call it that. Well, in this game, two points has been breathing space, let's be fair. Oh, good touch. Great touch. And McConnell, goalkeeper for the Giants now. For all of this... Clearly eating up valuable time on the clock too. Giants want the ball in hand to make something happen here. They're on their feet. Great ball then from Biddy and Hunt. Caught the Giants defenders head down. Centre to follow. Kylie Burns on her, well, on her feet. Down again, up again. How could you be still? Lightning got to be careful that they don't hold on to the ball because it's a pressure moment. Continue to let it go as they have been. Proskovia, 14 from 14 since she's entered the game. Talk about packing some punch. A circle edge, uncontested. Harton. Too many times this match, it's ringed back at her. Finian Hunt, good outlet ball, uncontested. Lightning starting to own this one. Oh, oh still time, and Amy Parmenta knows it. Yep, just a little late, wasn't she? Face of Julie Fitzgerald tells it all, considering it may not be the celebration they'd hoped for, and she wouldn't have any thoughts about it being for her. She'd love to see this team get the wood up on Lightning. Yeah, particularly after last week's game, and off the back of two losses, she would dearly have loved that year, spot on. At the other end, visiting coaches look expectant. Hunt, she's been good, she's been effective. Conan, she's worked hard. Front and back. Playing with the ball now, every pass eating up precious seconds. Over the top. 
and Proskovia yet again does not disappoint. Well, that's probably the only person she's upset. Lightning would be very delighted with the impact she's had. That one over the back, and that'll pretty well seal the deal. Contact call against Mwenny. Well, this has got to sink, and then they've got to turn it over quick, smart. Well, it's the front of the ring she's been finding, Joe Harton. That'll break her heart. The little scrappy in the dying seconds. That won't bother the Lightning coaches. That is full time, and the Lightning, who had the wood, not the Steph Wood, but the wood on the Giants, all of 2020 have repeated it. First match of 2021, 58 to 52. Took a while to get there. Ball for ball it went. And more than two points separating them for most of the match. The Giants hoping to give Julie Fitzgerald a win in celebration of her 350th match. But it's been a trend.